Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope you have a wonderful day. Um, in today's video, we're going to talk about, I guess, how we're figuring out our final number. What is um, the final number? Yeah, the final number in terms of how much money do you really need in order for you to be... Retire. Yeah. Or financial, f financially free. free. Yes. yes. <laughs> so when we first started um, on this journey, it is a little bit daunting when you're looking at the numbers. And we were we didn't even know we were like okay how much do we need yeah and we're doing the number okay by step by step the the figure looks so big but then if we do this step step by step by time we should be able to achieve it yeah so everyone's a bit different um so i guess depending on your circumstances what is it that you want and you what you need um, it might be a bit different. So for us, for example, we don't really need a buying brand new car every two or three years, for mm -hmm. example. We don't need to go on a fancy vacation like, like once know. a year. Maybe mm. maybe once in once a year, maybe I don't know. Because so, our, our family is overseas. So exactly. our, our holiday budget may be a bit bigger. Yeah, and if you're going on overseas vacation trip, are you gonna go on first class or economy? So that makes it a bit more dramatic as well. Are yeah, we'll be, buy it on sale. Yeah, are you gonna be in a hotel or are you gonna be going on a family member's house? So that might be, again, <laughs> different. Yeah. Um, and how many times per year do you wanna do that trip? So that all differentiate. And then when you're living on your day-to-day, -day, do you, are you expecting to, let's say, eat at home majority of the time yeah, cook your food that's or, what we enjoy yeah or are you expecting to have go a take out, out every yeah. couple of days or something yeah. so or go for again, fine dining here and there yeah so yeah. that dramatic thing will bound to um mm. like change your final change. figure yeah and for us we're just looking at the bare basics anyway um in terms of bare basic as in family of four <laughs> yeah family of four um this is based on our calculator mm. so it might be a bit different between you guys and if you're thinking of i guess retiring anyway or when you're looking at what is my final number um like what is it that you're trying to figure out mm -hmm. <laughs> um yeah it can get really daunting and goes wow do you really need this much yeah. i think the first step to to calculate your number is to find out what's your living cost great so mm -hmm. a living cost for us is like okay then in every week if we were to live mm -hmm. how much do we really need yeah so how much do we really need so for us here living in sydney it will be a bit different if you're living in southeast asia yeah <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean so and it will be different again because we live in sydney and a western culture western world it might be different um even sydney versus new york is an example yeah. um so for us we only need roughly about let's say about a thousand dollars per week yes that's at the current calculator well that's not including you but this number you shouldn't have any like mortgage or rent yeah. it's just your living cost yeah so if you live in a house the maintenance your it might be a little bit more higher or gas yeah yeah versus a your living food. apartment because mm -hmm. um, we live in an apartment in the city we don't really drive our car much so we use a lot of public transport as well as bicycles um so yeah well hence why the one thousand dollars per week at the current yeah. rate um but our seat is going to go higher because our kids are still little. Yep. They're going to eat a lot more and they have more activities. Expenditure. Yeah. So uh, as they grow older, obviously there are more needs that they uh, require. For example, mm -hmm. like between kindergarten as well as um, what is it, daycare, the difference alone is massive. Yeah. Um, you know, like say in kindergarten, you don't pay whatever the daily fee is but we only mm. pay one one of yearly fee um that would cut dramatically on on the, the daycare, daycare expenditure yep. but they've got a lot more activities and then the food <laughs> consumption and then we put them in swimming classes or maybe yeah. in the future they have other classes so um th uh, this is based on us having a family of uh, i guess two children um at the time that this is being recorded is kids at about four and four Sorry, five, five and, and six, six now. Going to be, yes. <laughs> going to be five and six. 
So yeah, as they grow older, I'm sure their excursion is going to be a lot more fancier um, and their school needs, you know, from now on anyway, it's just pen and paper, but I'm sure in the near future it will be computers, mm, okay. um, iPad, um, whatever new technology that they require as yep. well. Cool. Um, you know, and the excursion, it will be a lot more bigger. They're going to go to snow trips or so. That's what you um, want. Well, that's what I did when I was in high school, yeah. um, you know, um, and then camp trip instead of, um, what is it, a night disco in school? Mm-hmm. <laughs> disco night in school. So. Drama disco. There you go. Yeah. So um, that's not in taking into account of that. This is based on our numbers currently. Um, obviously, it might be a little bit more higher and higher yeah. as they go older. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, we're looking at about $1,000 a week. Now, how did we come up with that number in the first place? Based on our food consumption, our like insurance, mm-hmm. uh, buying on clothes or other maintenance, paying off other bills. That's yeah. approximately $1,000 a week. Now, that's because we also don't eat out much. Um, mm-hmm. When's last time? I don't know. We're in lockdown, <laughs> so no. So, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> um, we, we, we have that number in a year, so that's $52,000. But we normally round up the number, put it to, to 60000 so, I'm not sure you guys heard about this 4% rule. So the concept of the 4% rule for us is the simple format of if you are take if you have a big lump of money um, mm-hmm. and you own and your return on your investment, let's say 10%, yep. um, a certain percentage of that goes to inflation yep. um, because the all costs throughout the world, um, anything that you consume is going to go higher and higher. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the price alone on petrol, uh, when I first started driving, it was about 60 cents and now it's about seventy. Yep. So that throughout my lifetime has gone up, um, even though the same usage. Um, so inflation, it would eat up roughly about what, say 4%? 2% a year. 2%? Yeah. Okay, so let's so work on that. So 4% is more than enough. So yeah, if you're looking at your money, if you're having your money, let's say a 10% interest, let's say return. Yeah, per year. Yeah. Mm. 4% of that is Not for of us. that, it's like all together. Yeah. The total. So as a whole, yeah, let's 4% say of it. 4% of that is for us to eat. Live, yeah. Um, for us to just breathe in this planet Mm -hmm. (laughs) um which equates to about um a thousand dollars per week yes yeah um the other let's say two percent yeah yeah two percent is Mm -hmm. for the inflation yeah so no matter what everything's just going to go up so you can't really do much about that and the rest of them should be reinvested um somewhere um no back in that that pool yeah yeah back in that pool wherever that would be let it roll again because then the four percent rule which means you actually not eating your capital. Yeah, not only you're not eating your capital, you're only eating a certain percentage of, of your return. interest. Yeah, yeah, of your of your interest. So that way, even if you eat that, mm. it's still growing and growing and growing. Yep. So, so we come up with the number you we require to have. Dun dun dun! One and a half mil. So if you break it down, yep. we we look at it. We need to have our saving roughly, or not our saving, our investment somewhere. Yep. It's about one point five mil. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, For us to retire, well, we already have some side hustles. We have some um, passive income from properties, so we don't <laughs> need that much, but just for the calculation and based on our micro investment. If you guys watch our video, we have updates for our micro investment. I just did a calculation. We have seventy four thousand dollars in our use this calculator yeah micro investment so for we have initial amount for seventy four thousand dollars yep and let's say that we turn for our uh, micro investment or other investment is 15 percent per year and if each week we put one thousand dollars in there for compound interest mm-hmm. it will take us 10 years for 1.5 million that magic number can you see it oh really blurry yeah click click here yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so it took us ten years. So that's how we come up the number. It works. <laughs> uh, so for ten in within ten years, we should be retired. In the condition, if follow the plan. If we can follow the plan. In the condition, also we have to put in a thousand dollars per week. So and let's say if the return is twenty percent. Yep. Being very optim- optimistic. Yep. 
So it will take us, let's say, no. Uh, about uh, nine oh, years. Not let's much say. different. Okay, nine years. We'll cut us eight and a half. Yeah, eight and a half years. <laughs> Just under nine years. Yeah. Oh, nine years is a bit too much. Yeah, okay. So nine. that's how you do your number. Because there are so many people didn't know how much do I need? Yeah, in order to retire, having money in your bank every yeah. week. And the thing is, this is retire early. In yeah. Australia, we have super fun. Yeah, we're not even counting that as our income. That would be just in case of emergency if everything else goes pear shape. Plan, plan, plan Z. Plan Z, <laughs> that's how I see it. Yeah. So um, we're looking at all this, the, the investment that we've been doing. Um, that's how we work it out. You, you, for us, we need one and a half million dollars in our investment, let's say. Um, mm. And with an average of that, we should be able to get roughly about $1,000 per week. You mean, um, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. at the current stage yep. so if we have one and a half mil then we can get about a thousand dollars per week um obviously in the near future the price um every because everything goes up yeah um we might need two thousand dollars per week yeah <laughs> correct and so yeah and i guess this gives us like everything that we spend a, today a plan yeah i think it's like a visual visualize about our future okay that's a really big number how can we do it you just break it down into little number little mm -hmm. step how many years do you need it how much do i need to put it in everyone can do it you just do it slowly you know yeah. not like you go to gamble and double it <laughs> in a day no so you can't do it for us it's like getting rich slowly yes we don't we, we yeah. cannot take any more risk because well, we have two dependents now. Yeah. Um, so whereas beforehand when we were single and no kids, let's say, mm. um, that's a lot more, you can take a lot more risk yeah, um, exactly. factor. But for us, we're just looking at anything that is above 10%. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I can eat 4% return um, and then inflation is going to get two. So, and then the rest of them is going to get reinvested. Anything beyond 10 is yeah. a cream in the pie. Correct. So, so if that's that's how we do our numbers it might be a bit different than for anyone else out there mm -hmm. um but yeah hopefully this gives you guys understanding of it yep. now, we do use a calculator like um compound. it's a compound interest calculator i'm mm -hmm. sure you can just search that on whichever platform if you're on you know in app store or in google uh, what is it in android on version <laughs> you can, you can just um, go search on internet yeah just compound yeah. interest calculator and work it out from there um and i'm sure it's self-explanatory um maybe one day we'll go through that on mm. on the next okay. video yeah so um yeah hope you guys enjoy this and understand how we go around our numbers how we calculate our numbers mm -hmm. um, don't forget to subscribe comment see you guys on the next video bye bye